Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to start on the display managers. So these are the graphical login screens, and there's two in the book. Well, there's actually three, as we've seen already. There's um, the GDM, which we've installed, with all the, although it hasn't been configured correctly yet. Um, so I'll start with 26, chapter 26, which is where the display manager chapter is. Uh, I'll go into this bit here. So it says here, the graphical program is used to start in the graphical display, currently the X server, and provide a login capability for a window manager or a desktop environment. So window manager is basically um, a bit of software that gives you the look and feel of a, a GUI interface. And a desktop environment is the same thing, but it's a bit more enriched with tools and utilities and so on. And it says there are several um, display managers and several desktop environments as well. So I'll be going through installing a few of these that are in the book. So we'll start with LightDM. Uh, let's check dependencies. Okay, let's do the dependencies first. So EXO libxfce. So this is part of the XFCE desktop environment. Um, which we will be installing at some point. Um, so this needs xconf and now we need libxfce for util. So when we come to do xfce you can see that a lot of the, um, or some of the uh, tables for it are going to be already installed. Uh, let's see, libx, libxfce. So simple configure and make and install. So that's done. So that's under chapter thirty five five XFC desktop. So it's called libxfce for util, so that's the first package in that chapter. So I'll tidy that up. Now we go on to xconf, which again is part of the xfce installation. XFConf, sorry. Again, simple installation. install and that's done. So that's chapter 35, it's actually the next package after Libex FC for util. So the next dependency we've got is libgtop. This one says it's part of GNOME. So let's configure and build the package. And 
going to install it. So chapter 33, Liberty Top. And now we can install libxfc for UI. Again, simple installation commands. Install it. Okay. So, all right, we've got the similar problem to what I had before where the installer can't find some of the Windows libraries. Um, so what did I do for that? Did I make a note for that? Let's have a look. Look, I can made a note of that. Um, right, yes, it was a switch, I think, for the configure, as I remember. So I'm going to rebuild this. Ah, oh, now it's probably because the root hasn't got access to this, being as it's failing on the install. Um, so let me extract it again. Just to help. Yeah, that's right. I did the X includes, no, X libraries, I think. I'm wondering if this, because when I SU, it hasn't got the environment, so I'll try without using that switch, first of all. So I'll configure, because it builds okay, it's just the installation that fails. I think before it was the building that was failing. Uh, let's have a look at this. So it looks all right. So let's do make. And sudo minus e make install, see if that sorts it out. No, it doesn't. File exists. Oh, that's not good. The fact that it won, it's seeing files already and complaining about them. So, okay, it's obviously because the previous installation failed. What I'll do is I'll remove those files. It looks like there's three. So if I get rid of that one. And that one. Without the... Apostrophe and the last one. Hopefully, it won't complain about any others. 
and I'll try the install again. Yes, that's worked for that time. So that's all it was. The environment needed to be passed into sudo. Okay, so that's done. And that's in chapter 35. Okay, so the next one along in the XFC chapter. So that's done. Now we've got EXO. So once again, similar sort of installation. Make check. That's okay. Sudo make install. And that's done. So again, that's the next one along in the XFC chapter, EXO, chapter 35. So we'll go back to LightDM now. And we've got LibX Clavia. Straightforward installation. And make install. It's done. So that's in X libraries chapter twenty five. Lib X clavier, there it is. So once again back to light DM and we should be okay to build this now. So this requires oops, a user and a group. To be installed. And we've got a set here. And then a configure command. And we'll just check any explanations. There's nothing extra, so I'll. Where are we? That one there. Configure it like that. Now package lib light dm object found. Strange. Um, I'll run an LD config. No, um, I'll run the remove LA file. 
case that's the cause of this strange problem. Try it once more. Okay, what I'm going to do then is to reinstall um, Gobject Introspection. That's the only package I can see that's remotely related to this problem. I can't see why else it would fail. Uh, in fact, I'll just check. I'm pretty sure this was installed quite early on. Yeah, and it's been rebuilt as well with, with all the options. So uh, I'd be very surprised. If, well, I'd be glad if it does fix it, but I'll also be surprised because um, it's not what I would expect. But let's try it. So let's make the build directory and copy this meson command. Let's have a look at the we can build and install some documentation. Car is enabled for tests. Doc tool enabled run GIR doc tool. So we can also add that in as well. Sorry, the uh, wheel is bobbling around again on the mouse. Right. Okay, so dock tool. Yes, I've got about that. Needs markdown, so we can't enable that one. And now let's build it again. Oops. Okay, that's done. Now I'll run Ninja test. Okay, we had one failure there, but it does say that there will be one failure. If I've got, we've got two failures, I seem to remember this is what happened before. Test doc writer has failed, which is the expected one, but we've got package config has failed. Uh, so I'm not sure why that is, whether that's the problem with the other package building like DM, I'm not sure. Um, also, I'm going to try something else here. Um, there was a variable, was it lang equals c to run the, oh, not that little lowercase c. Uh, one of the tests ran before seemed to prevent those errors at the end from occurring yes and it's it's done it there so it's definitely a character set problem or some setting and incidentally it's let that other test pass as well so that's quite interesting I'm wondering if it's because the default language or character set is not UTF-8 and that's what's causing the problem Okay, so anyway, I'm going to do sudo ninja install. And it's built. And I'm going to do sudo ldconfig to make sure any of those libraries are 
the latest pop deeds go back to light DM and retry the config which is that one there okay now so there is something else wrong with this alternatively you may need to set the environment variables like dm object to see flags and libs to avoid needing to call package config I'll scan the disk for this. Oh. I don't know something wrong with this keyboard and mouse I've got that keeps on missing characters. Right, so it's definitely not been found. Um, I'm going to do a help again. anything about this Try enable introspection equals false or no rather. See if that fixes it. No. Lib light DM object dash one. Let's see if it's anywhere in mentioned in the book. DM. So there it is there. Alright, so is this package? That's how strange is looking for a, a package that it itself is installing. Ah, oh, there's two downloads is that what I've done wrong I've only downloaded one of the files yes that's what's happened this has happened before isn't it that's what's going on right so I haven't downloaded the actual package I've been working on the wrong package uh, saving. I did wonder why there's two configure commands in this. There's obviously two packages that get installed in this. Light DM. Right, that's better. Let's do this properly now. Okay, so I'll have to run this setting again. And I'll recall that configure command. Remove that enable introspection. No. And now it's build. That looks better. Okay, now I'll install it. Uh, 
And now I can understand why the other package will build now because that library will be there. So I'm just going to copy all of this in. And run make install. And we need to run this link in as well as we've installed Xorbin Opt. So there's a boot script here to run. Make install right DM. And it says it can be started from the command line as a root user. And if I start that, it'll probably um, do something to this session I've got. So what I'm going to do is I'll run this command, which backs up the original init tab and then changes the settings. And in fact, it looks like it changes what's already been changed. So, in theory, if I now log out of this and tidy up, I'll oops, close the browser down and log out of this. Um, I'll reboot, actually. And it should come up with the um, graphical screen. So there's the chime. Grub menu, press enter, and it's booting. And the, yeah, there it is. It's come up with a login screen. So I can log in with my details, and for some reason it's not working. I think I've been bitten by this before. Um, when I saw that, I initially thought it's a permissions issue, and it's not. It's nothing to do with that at all. It's basically just an incomplete setup. Um, what the desktop manager is trying to do is to find a session for us, and there are no sessions currently. Um, normally when you install a windowing manager or a desktop environment, it would usually automatically install a file which would allow the desktop manager to decide what session, i.e. what windowing environment or desktop environment you want to access after you've logged in. So what it is, is this icon here would normally list all the sessions, but because there's none, um, that's why we're getting the error. It doesn't know what to do. So what I can do is show you quickly how it would work. Um, but normally you just install this um, desktop uh, manager and then go and create a session. Well, in fact, we have got a session, and that's TWM. So, um, as you can see, I've been playing around with it on the terminal. What we need to do, first of all, is to create uh, an X sessions directory, because that isn't there initially. So, if I show you that I've um, created a share X sessions directory, and it's empty, so I've just created that, that directory with the root, and then what I did, I looked at the manual and under the Fluxbox session, uh, section of the manual, uh, and Fluxbox is something we will be installing, there's a desktop file or an X session file, which I've just cribbed and tweaked it to run or to, um, yeah, to run 
TWM. So if I go into sources BLFS, I've copied it there. So if I move the um, TWM, uh, what's it called? Uh, didn't I copy it there? Where did I put it? Um, right, have I deleted it? Start up desktop. So it's a file with a desktop ending. Have I put it in the home directory? Okay, I'm not sure where I put it actually. Um, okay, what I'll have to do is to copy it afresh. Um, I wonder where I put that. How strange. Okay, what I'll do is I'll log in. So we've still got the session manager running on sesh, um, virtual terminal sesh 7. So I should be able to start. Well, it might cause some problems. I should be able to run StarTex. Yeah, that's still working. If I quickly jump to the manual and for example jump into Fluxbox this file here is the one that we need for TWM so we haven't got Fluxbox at the moment but if I go into root and create that as you can see it also creates the X sessions directory for us if I go into user share X sessions and if I rename that to TWM sorry uh, Fluxbox TWM dot desktop and then edit it so it does actually reflect TWM so um, the name obviously is not Fluxbox so it's called TWM I can change this to TWM so that it tells the user. Now the exec I'll have to find should be able to run it just as TWM actually. Um, and that is it. So if I save that this should actually run. Um, if I come out of there I'll have to come out of this session as well. So I'll quit that log out of this, I'll log out of here as well, go back to the virtual terminal 7 now I'm not sure if this will refresh, it might do after I attempt to log in again well no it's it's actually found the TWM session and that is the TWM session that's all you get, it's that basic we only get the windows because that's in the um, XINIT RC file when StarTex is run um, so if you see if I press the uh, oh no it's not working is it that's strange so obviously that isn't the session that I said it was okay so it does mean that I'll need to I've gone back to the first terminal it does mean that I'll need to specify the whole path to TWM which is that there right it seems to but is it my mouse that stopped working uh, it might have been taken over by that graphical session um, right what I'll do then in that case is I'll kill that by doing init 3 and that will stop that session now. So if I go to F7, you see there's nothing there. Um, yeah, the mouse is still not working. Is it generally not working or is it GPM that's had a fit now? Right, it seems to be an issue with the mouse. Um, Right, what I'll do then is 
opt XOR bin TWM. So I need to edit user share X sessions TWM. I need to put opt XOR bin in front of the TWM. So opt XOR bin. Save that. And if I run init 5, it should start up the graphical environment. I'll go back to F1 to shut this session down. Back to the virtual terminal 7. Now if I, yeah, the mouse got taken over. That's why it wouldn't work in the terminal. If I click on here, you can now see there's an option TWM and it's the only option, so I can't select it or deselect it. So now if I run Kernatex and yeah, now left click, the menu is appearing. So TWM is actually working. And so, you know, I could just start up a next term, start up Falcon and just carry on as I was before. Um, but obviously I haven't got the fonts and I have to set it up each time again. So it's not really convenient because that's the way that TWM works. So what I should do is that is obviously working now because I've set up a session. I've tested it with TWM. What I'll do is I'll carry on building um, the other desktop managers and then as soon as we get one of the Windows managers, well Fluxbox is actually the first one, um, we'll be able to see this operating in a little bit better than it is at the moment. So I'll quit this and control D on this and then left click the desktop and do X, oops, exit I want not restart. And you can see it's taking me back to the login screen. So it's working perfectly as you would expect. It's just a little bit um, basic because the TWM, TWM is a basic windowing manager. Um, so what I should do now then is I'll leave this graphical environment here. I'll go back to, yeah, unfortunately it does, it has taken over the mouse. So I'll need to shut that down. So what I'll do is I'll log into root. I'm going to do etc init and xdm which is the X display manager and I'm going to stop it yep that stopped you see it's only got a little cursor in the top left window if I go back to oh no I can't switch terminals now all right that's done it perhaps I shouldn't have done it that way perhaps I should have done init 3 um, Right, let's stuff it up. I wonder. Right, yes, that's not good. Um, right, what I can do is if I log in on another terminal remotely because I've got SSH working, uh, I wonder if I can restart that. Uh, So I'm logged in remotely and I'm running command etc init.d xdm start. So I'm going to restart the xdm manager and hopefully that will restore things to normal. So I might have to do control alt 7. No, that's not done it. So I'm going to do init d from this remote terminal. Init, sorry, space 3. So you can see it says it's switched to run level 3, right, that's allowed me to use the keyboard again. Um, so I wonder if I type in it 5 in the remote terminal. Yeah, the mouse is still not working here. I'm doing it 5, is that going to break things still? Yeah, it is, unfortunately. Okay, yeah, I think I've really confused it. So I think the best thing to do is just to restart. I'll log out of the remote session. Uh, reboot, sorry. Reboot. Oh, actually, I'll log out. The best thing to do. Control, delete.
Right, there's the chime. Got the menu up, press enter, and it's rebooting. Yep. So there's login, and uh, again, it's all working fine. There's TWM. I'll log in again just to prove that it's still working correctly. Blank screen, left click, there's the X, uh, TWM menu. I'll exit. It's gone back to the login screen, but I don't want to use that. I'm going to do Control or F1 to get the virtual terminal. I'm going to log in as root initially. And I'm going to do it, well, I should be telling it, I think is the better way of doing this. Telling it three to go to the text only multi user login. So that would have killed the session on the virtual terminal session seven. I'll log out of here now. Log in as kernel text and run star text and carry on in this environment just because it's set up for the work I'm doing. So yes, yeah, so light DM is done. I'll close this flux box down. Light DM is done. It's configured correctly.